welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression on a new mascara. It is on the Maybelline The Colossal Spider Effect Volume Express Mascara. Now, I have a problem with the name of the mascara because it's the spider effect. And I think of spider lashes, I think of Dolly Parton lashes, I just think of just not very good images. Like, like it gives the mascara a very negative connotation, I feel, anyway. I don't know. Um, so I haven't used this, obviously. I just picked this up. I found mine at Walmart. Maybelline mascaras are pretty affordable. They're around five or six bucks, depending on where you get this, um, on where you get it. I got this in the color Glam Black. I did see a waterproof version, so if that is what you like or need, they do have that available as well. Now looking at the packaging, it kind of just looks like the regular Colossal, which I have to say I've not had the best experience with before. Just looking on the packaging of what the brush looks like, it looks very similar to the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly, their new one. Do I have it here? Yeah, it looks very similar to the Volume, the Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt in that it's half it's like half a brush where there's like a comb on one end but this one's a little bit different so we are going to check it out and let me show that you see that do you see the spider web I don't know I don't know guys so I'm really hoping that this mascara is amazing and gives me very voluminous long lashes I just want to say that I love drugstore mascaras I have had some of the best lash days of my life with drugstore mascaras and I don't know, I feel like mascaras are so personal though, like you really, it's like finding a boyfriend, like you might think he's beautiful, attractive, and then I might look at him and be like, ooh girl. The same thing with mascara, you know, what works for my lashes might not work for your lashes, and vice versa. So anyway, enough yapping, we're going to open this puppy up and see, see what we get. Here's the bottle, just has, like I said, the spider web design on it. And we open it, and here is what the wand looks like. It's definitely a plastic brush, and yeah, very interesting. It kind of has like a curve to it. So this is what my lashes normally look like. There's no product on them. I have not curled them either. I'm just hoping that this does it all for me. So the brush does have some bend to it, which is, which is okay. So I'm just going to apply one coat, a generous coat, because I'm pretty heavy-handed. I'm definitely seeing some nice volume and length. Alright, I'm starting to see clumping. Let me get this outer corner. Wow. Well, that definitely packed on a lot of mascara. So the brush. I would suggest wiping it down before you apply because it does apply a lot of mascara. That is one coat. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. So that is one coat on both eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom lashes. Definitely very easy to get your bottom lashes because it is tapered, so you just use the side that's tapered and you can get right in there. Okay, so one coat on both bottom and top lashes. I'm going to go ahead and do another coat. I will say that I would definitely leave it here for me, my preference. But I want to see what this can do with two top, with two coats. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That is with the second top coat top coat like if it's nail polish with the second coat of mascara I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye okay 
All right, so that is two coats of mascara. So there is a lot of clumping going on right now, which is why I didn't do another coat on my bottom lashes. This is two coats at the on the top, and as you can see, my lashes are definitely longer than when I first started, obviously. Um, but there is definitely a lot of clumping, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I just want you to see. Do you see? Do you see? So final thoughts with this mascara, um, definitely saw a lot of clumping in my lashes, not sure how I feel about it, I definitely think it gave me length, it definitely brought out the lashes, but I just don't know if I can deal with the amount of clumping that goes on, so it would definitely not be my favorite mascara right off the bat that I would choose at the drugstore, It will. this won't be it. This is definitely a mascara that I would use in conjunction with something that separated my lashes. So if I were to use this mascara with, say, the Telescopic by L'Oreal, I feel like this would be a really good lash cocktail, uh, or mascara cocktail, rather. But on its own, I just don't like, I don't like the clumping. I don't like the spider lash look on me. It just does not do that much for me, I think. I feel like if my lashes, if I had more lashes, then I wouldn't mind it. So if you are somebody who has a lot of lashes, you probably will like this mascara because it's definitely very dramatic. Um, but if you're like me and have sparse lashes and you're just wanting to look like you have more lashes and not necessarily lose them as they clump with the mascara, you might want to skip this one, I'm, I have to say. But I don't really hate it. I don't, I don't necessarily hate it. I don't think it's the worst mascara that I've tried. It's just definitely not my favorite that I've tried. Yeah. So if you love this mascara, I'm sorry. Like I said, mascaras are like boyfriends. It, you know, he may do it for you, but he definitely ain't doing it for me. So <laughs> don't take any offense to it. I swear this is just makeup. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I don't know what else to say. I mean, if it flakes on me, I will let you guys know. But I feel like mascaras are definitely one of the only products that I can do a first impression because if I hate you from the minute I open you, then I'm going to hate you till the minute I throw you away, you know? Like, it's not like I wait until the mascara changes or anything. If I don't like it, I'm just not going to use it. So, that's just how I feel. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.